Greetings, citizens of the internet. I'm Static Buzz, and in this video, we're going to be playing the game The Witch and the Hundred Knight Revival Edition on the PlayStation 4. Um, not exactly sure why I skipped this on P PlayStation 3. Just trying to figure out why. Maybe another game. Maybe I was waiting for the new console. I'm not sure. No idea. But we're going to give it a go now, so let's start it up. Okay. Oh. New game. Uh, normal. I have played a lot of the other NIS games. I uh, love the Disgaea series. Played the heck out of just about all of those. Um, I played a couple of other ones. Some of them were really good and other ones were eh. Um, this one seems interesting to me. I'm not sure why I didn't play it before. Because I do have a PlayStation 3. But anyways, here we go. I hope. Lijamas. You are from class. Huh? Afan? <laughs> no idea what's going on. Can you understand me now? Can you understand me now? Yes. Why so startled? Because I got this big creepy face with weird green eyes staring at me and I'm a little blob. Have you be so scared by something trivial like this? Anyway, let me ask you this again. What is your name? Come on now, you know my name. Here's the yes. Okay, that is a weird way of doing it. <laughs> wow, that is very weird. <clears throat> select the letter, select the case, then go back. I don't think I'm going to get more letters than that, so we are... Yeah, I just got two, so we're going to just leave it at static and finish. Or am I sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I see. Even something like you as a name. Okay. You're at least that smart, I guess. Different from the typical familiar. Well, if you weren't, this wouldn't have even gotten to this point. I'm going to give you a better name. I'll name you myself. Listen carefully and burn it into your memory. Hey, no, I know my name. I know my name. Don't change it. Come on. Your new name is... Hmm. I got all pumped up making that speech, so now it's hard to come up with something on the fly. Well, 100 nights sounds good. No, it doesn't. Static sounds better. You are the Hundred Knight. Call me what you want, but I'm static. Okay. That means your name is Hundred Knight. Don't ever forget it. Forgotten. If you understand, respond with a yes. No. Self-assertion can be used to convey the Hundred Knight's will. Four options will be displayed. Affirm, deny, question, and ignore. The other person will respond accordingly. 
Affirm will usually give a positive or upbeat reaction to the question asked. In general, it is a yes statement. Deny will usually give a negative or contrary reaction to the question asked. In general, it is a no statement. Question asked for reconfirmation or show doubt, rejection or disagreement. In general, it's a kind of a back talk. Ignore is a non-vocal cue that forces a conversation to end rather than show any particular emotion or feeling. Try to express your will. Tilt the left stick and press the X button to select your response. All I can do is ignore or affirm. Let's go ahead and affirm, but we know my name. Congratulations, you have now mastered the art of self-assertion. Not really. Your self-assertion response will ev evoke various reactions depending on who is speaking to you, so be aware of that tidbit. Also note that the Hundred Knight is not yet intelligent enough to question or disagree with anyone. You understand your role well. Your name is now Hundred Knight. Don't forget it. Hey, the Hundred Knight's intelligence level has risen! The Hundred Knight can now make decisions. Well, why can't I make it before? A bit of intelligence is manifested. I'll give you something good as a reward. Acquired a helmet. The Hunter Knight's intelligent level raises several more times. The Hunter Knight can now defend itself. <laughs> good job. We're almost done here. By the way, that's a special helmet I made just for you. It'll give you a knight's powers, and... Thank you? Huh? Something's here. <laughs> Worthless interruption. Whatever. We're leaving this place. Learn the little nuances as you fight. Go, and follow my every direction. Don't slack off. Movement and camera controls. Use the left stick to move the hundred knight. Tilt it slightly to walk and tilt it further to make the hundred knight run. Try move to move the hundred knight now. Going slow. You were able to follow these simple direction like a good minion. Next, try to move the camera. Use the right stick to move or change the camera angle. Pretty standard. Clicking the right stick, R3, button, will reset the camera's position to face north. Now move the camera and then reset it. Use the right stick to move the camera and click the right stick to reset the camera position. You already said that. You have mastered the concept of using your right thumb to move the camera camera faces north by default so if you ever feel disoriented from moving the camera reset it may help okay, I'm moving nice and slow little faster little faster little faster little faster ah uh, there's no degrees it's all just either full speed or That's stupid. full speed or walking To go other ways. Look over there. That stupid lizard. Okay, I guess I'm not supposed to go there. Let's try it. Up, 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 up. What's over here? Go straight. Keep moving. I was going straight. Dark world. Ah, oh, that's right. You're unarmed, aren't you? Yep, no weapons. If you're 
you're known as a knight, you ought to have a sword at least. Fine. Use this as your weapon. <laughs> Only the best for you. Only the best. Behold, the dumbass longsword. Nice name. Commonly known as the rubbish sword. Of course, start me off with that. How does it feel in your hands? I found it in the trash behind my house. It's truly rubbish, huh? With this amount of rust in use, it makes for a perfect piece of trash. He's all acting like it's the greatest thing ever. Like, oh, rubbish sword! The Hundred Knight equips the rubbish sword. It feels very special. Tutorial attacking and defending. Press the X button, or not the X button, the square button to attack. You can equip multiple equipment, multiple weapons. <laughs> Can't read today. Press the square button rapidly to perform consecutive attacks. Weapons and armor need to be equipped via the main menu before they can be used. The main menu screen is unavailable right now, so weapons will be auto-equipped. I don't know if you guys can hear that. That is actually coming out of the controller, the sound that the, the 100 Knight's making. That's kind of cool. All right. What, I don't want to take this dude on. Come on. I got him. I got him. To the right. This is the right. Black oil everywhere. Alright, more guys. Ooh, what? Now left. Now left. I don't want to go left. I want to go kill the bug. I guess I'm not really getting anything from these, so I might as well just complete the tutorial. Knight. You need to open the gate first. Look around. There should be a switch somewhere. <laughs> Will you have trouble finding it? Is this like a big game there? It is a game. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, I'm looking for a switch. Is it by the door? It is by the door. There. That's the switch. What's the hold up? Flip the switch already. Oh, I'll flip the switch. Regarding auto markers and switches. When NPCs or interactive objects are nearby, a yellow tri triangle appears to that signals your ability to lock onto or target. This is called the auto marker. You target something with the auto marker, the target name will be displayed. If it is a controllable object, control prompts will appear. Next, an explanation about switches. This is a switch. There are different types of switches. This switch operates by standing near it and pressing the circle button to engage it. When the switch is off, the light is red. When, it's, when turned on, the light will be green. Try engaging the switch. Approach it, and when controls prompts are displayed, Follow the prompt and press the appropriate button to activate the switch. Flip it! Yeah, buddy! Alright. Well done, you activated the switch. When you activate switches, doors may open or some kind of change will occur on the field. Map being explored. Many types of switches exist, and they may have different activation methods. And now through this 
portal. Turned into butterflies. Nice. She's going to be so surprised. Oh wait, that wasn't the witch? What sort of face will she make when she hears that I'm all better and I've come to play? Oh, well, maybe it is the witch. Forget her name. What is this? Okay, I'm back at where I was. I think. Oh, well, maybe not. I don't know. That is the way I was going. Just a moment. It's not over yet. What do you mean it's not over yet? What's not over? <laughs> Lizard! <laughs> Knew it was coming. <laughs> Look at this, Hundred Knight. You took your sweet time and now it's cut up. You take my sweet night time? You, you kept stopping me. You have to run. Uh oh, it's gonna catch you. You better hurry. Regarding dash, dash can be used by holding down the X button. This allows you to sprint through an area and simply holding the X button down will allow you to automatically dash straight ahead. If you dash while locked onto a target, you will sprint around that target like a very fast shark or something. <laughs> Using the dash function will normally drain your stamina, but this particular use is an exception, so dash like crazy. Try dashing now! Oh, we're dashing. Fly! Ah. Good job, you dashed like a true pro, but you stopped me! Using the dash function lets you move fast, but you will lose the ability to move in an agile manner. So be aware of that. Oop. What is that thing? Fight! <laughs> Do what you want. Do what I want. Get going! Regarding attacks and locking on. By pressing the square button, you will attack using an, an equipped weapon. If you are equipped with multiple weapons, repeatedly press the X button to execute combo attack. Let us explain the lock on function. By pressing and holding the R1 button, you will lock on to nearby enemies. You will lock them. When, you're lo when locked on, the target's be behavior panel will be displayed. Also, when locked onto a target, the 100 knight movement pattern changes to locked on mode, and it will face only that target. <clears throat> Locking on is a good option when you have difficulty landing your attacks. Try to defeat an enemy while locked onto it. The locked on button is the R1 button. The attack button is the square button while locked on. Enemies will respawn until you do as told. Alright, I get it. Lock on. Okay. Don't get up. Get up. Get up. Alright, so you have to hold it. Kill that weakling. You're worthless. <sighs> Congrats, you beat an enemy while locked on to it. While locked on is active, you cannot move the camera, but if there are multiple foes, the right stick will cycle through targets. Phantom butterflies! We you won't turn back to normal with that antidote. I didn't screw it up! You trying to scheme against me? What the hell's going on? Get yourself through the gate fast. I was running through that gate. Come on, fly. Besides me is in this place? Some nerve. Hey, 109. Looks like you won't be getting out of here so easy. As you are now, you can't beat this thing. All you can do is run. <laughs> run, run, but don't get caught. Alright, we're running. To 
to the right. Yes, boss. Switch. Throw that switch in front of me. Ice skating when you're sprinting. Get in the portal! Butterflies! Just wait! Visco! Ooh, it's Visco. What was that? Stop stopping me. Run past everything. No stop. Oh. Hey, it's catching up. You're a slow one. Oh, <laughs> you keep stopping me. Again. Keep going straight ahead. I'll buy you some time. even here. First that assailant thing and now I don't like this at all. This idiot again. Hurry it up, Hundred Knight. Butterflies. Okay, can't oh, there we go. Now I can move. Run. Fool run. Fly fools, fly. What? A moving stick sign? What? Exactly, what the hell was that? Why is it really fuzzy? Regarding the talk function, when you approach friendly NPCs, the talk command will display. Press the O button to chat with that NPC. Talk to everybody in this village. Oh, fun. Start to the right. Yeah, festival time. I love glasses. Everyone's in high spirits, but the festival doesn't start in earnest till tomorrow. Since the maiden we are celebrating during tomorrow's festival was chosen from our village, everyone is really excited. Tomorrow's festival is an important time for us to offer our prayers up to our gods. The festival tomorrow is celebrating the maiden who was chosen from our village. That not that incredible? Please say so. 
The entire country is having a festival tomorrow, so we're going to party all night tonight to get in a festive mood. Down for that. And I think this is the last person. If this festival is truly being hosted across the entire country, the maiden must be rather busy. Well done, you spoke with everybody. Yes, I did. Now it's an entire town. What's going on here? Who's doing all this? Whatever the case, these fools are talking about festivals and maidens. Such annoying nonsense. <laughs> I just had a brilliant idea. We'll dominate this town, Hundred Knight. Raid all the houses. It seems rather appropriate for us to ruin their precious festival. Well, there's no meaning in dominating a false world, but this place should be more quiet. Think of it as training. Maybe even a tutorial of sorts. Really? Go, Hundred Knight. Dominate this pathetic fake village. A fake village? Okay. Regarding raid and visit, any building with a visible door on the field map can be raided by pressing this triangle button. If you raid a house, the Hunter Knight will pick a fight with the house's resident and will assault them until it wins or is kicked out. If you win, the house has been dominated, allowing you to take the house, house's family treasure. But what about the visit function, you ask? Simply visiting will result in various things depending on the building being visited. Visiting a house before and after domination will shift the resident's attitude, making facilities easier to use after dominating them. Turn this village full of God's maidens into a witch's withered play. Witch's withered playground. Can't wait to look upon their frustrated, depressed faces. <laughs> All right, let's see what this is about. Level one, even match. Weed gun. Let's go ahead and give it a go. Oh, I guess I don't do anything. The family treasure, weed gum acquired. Witch domination. <laughs> you were able to dominate it. That'll do, Hundred Knight. Now, keep it up until you dominate every house in this stupid village. This is going to take a while. Move out the way, fool. I need to dominate. Move out the way. All right, let's go here. Raid. We'll go back to the other house when we're done here. Family treasure weed gum acquired. Oh man, he's back in front of it. Can I attack? I just want him to move. Uh, let's go down here. Come on, move, dude. Move. Move. Move and move. Thank you. Right now. There we go. Oh, get it. For the guy who comes back. More weed gum. Alright. Witch domination. Okay, how many houses? More houses do we have? Should I try visiting one first? I think the next one I'll visit to see what happens. And then dominate it. And then visit it again. Ooh, antidote this time. Alrighty, so let's go down to this house and see if we can visit. We're gonna visit first. What's up, people? How's it going? Oh, I was kicked out? I don't think so. See about that now. How dare you kick me out? Because you kicked me out, that's why I'm doing this. More weed gun. Alright, now let's see if we can visit it. Turn around, visit. HP 
recovered. I didn't know I even had HP because I don't see a bar or anything. Eventually, I'm sure that'll unlock. Uh, are there any more houses? One more up here. We're just gonna raid it. See if this ends this part of the tutorial. Sorry, my mistress is telling me to do this. I must. Ooh, cookies. Let's <laughs> do it again for cookies. Witch domination. Congratulations. Every house has been taken over via witch domination. That wasn't half bad. You put on a decent enough show. That thing again. A damn pest. That's... Is this a distortion? We shouldn't spend too much more time here. The way out will close. Hey, Hundred Knight, run! There's no time left! Hurry! I'll guide the way, so get to the exit. Okay, butterflies. I don't think there's any need in taking all those guys on right now because I don't have an experience bar, I don't have a health bar, I don't have nothing. feeling I'm gonna die. I think this is one of those things where you die. Alright, let's affirm. You agree, huh? Ha! What a smart I didn't have a choice, did I? This will be a good chance to show me what you're really made of. Regarding boss encounters. Bosses who await at the end of an area have plenty of health, stamina, and a desire to continue living despite Matilia's, Matalia's commands. A boss's stamina and health will display at the bottom of the screen. The rapidly shifting blue bar is the boss's guard gauge. The less the bar is filled, the lower the boss's guard is at the moment. The gauge constantly shifts in battle, but it tends to drop significantly right before the boss utilizes a powerful attack. You must learn the boss's attack pattern and how to safely dodge their strong attacks. 
So remain vi vigilant or face your doom. Yeah, this is gonna be. Dodged your attack. I dodged your attack. Oh. oh, I dodged it again. I thought I was gonna hit on that one. I did it. I did it. 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 Really thought I was gonna die. Just as I thought. You struggle to make your own decision. What? I figured you wouldn't be able to handle such a burden this way. But I did! Oh, okay. Make your escape before it regenerates. Go! Over that way as fast as you can. Make it over there, and I'll do something about our friend. Over where? Oh, I'm not even in control here. <laughs> There's no time for fear. Jump! Get out of my sight! Oh wow, giant hand. Come to me, hundred knights. Music's pretty epic. I am Metallia, your master and your contract. I alone control your fate. From this day on. You shall refer to me as the Great Witch of the Swamp, Master Metalli. <laughs> Let's start some chaos together. This concludes the basic tutorial. From here on, your health, stamina, ga stamina, giga cows, and so on will play a major role in the Hundred Knight's ability to act. Top left corner of the screen will display the hundred knights giga cows, which it needs to perform any action. When your giga cows have been depleted, your HP will begin to decrease. If your HP falls to zero without any giga, giga cows, you will return home. Attacking and dashing also deplete stamina. Stamina recovers right away, but it recovers. Recovery also relies on the use of giga cows. So I guess it's like calories or something. With a limited time to act away from its master, it is important to determine an effective way to power up the hundred knight. To strengthen the hundred knight, you can level up by defeating enemies or equip more powerful weapons and armor. But no permanent growth will be felt until the hundred knight returns to the swamp and has Metallia imbue, imbue the new powers within it. It may feel complicated at first, but it is simple in its execution, so learning how to become stronger will, be, will come natural with time. The basic controls are the same as before. If you made it this far, you'll be able to progress without much concern. If you forget any controls, check the action detail screen to review them. The action detail screen can be accessed by pressing the R1 button while on the main menu. There are 58 tips in the loading screen to help you along your journey. The true game begins now. Tackling, tackle the main story, Hunter Knight. In a world far different from our own, there exists a place called Medea. There, in a forest wedged between two nations, where no human or animal dares to tread. Rather, where they cannot tread, lives a lone witch in the swamp of Nibble Henry. This witch conducts strange experiments day in and day out, and is feared as the Swamp Witch. None have seen her, and all keep their distance. The reason for this is because the witch cannot leave her precious swamp.
The swamp lies deep in the forest called Woods, where the gods' persecution took place in days long past. Now, that land is protected by the peaceful forest witch. One day long ago, the animals felt a darkness from within the swamp and began to scatter. This was a sign of the grand incident to come. The lance is a heavy weapon known for its high attack potential. It is a good weapon to rush the enemy with, but its range is narrow, making it hard to hit enemies with. Best used when locked onto an enemy. Most have slash properties, but a few do have blunt properties. Get! Get! Hey! Hey! Have you awoken, Sir Hundred Knight? Let us rejoice. You are the first being in 113 years to have visited our small, humble swamp. Or, to be more specific, the very first visitor to our abode. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> my apologies. An introduction is in order. I am called Arlecchino. I serve the swamp. Master Leah as her butler and lookout. I am faithful and reliable. Dumbass. Dumbass! The name's not Leah. It's Metalia. Metalia. How many times do I gotta say it? Normally, I dismantle you, grind you up, and use you as fertilizer for my swamp. But I'm in a good mood today. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I'll also pretend like I didn't hear you call my swamp small. Oh, you heard me, did you? I am pleased to know that your ears are healthy and functional. Anyway, this is supposed to be the legendary demon, the Hundred Knight. The appearance of a burning phoenix, the size of a mountain. Thirteen eyes gazing in all directions, and four arms of immense strength. Horsemen flee in terror as its wings shift the very winds. A voice that causes earthquakes, spews liquid fire from its crotching mouth, and a hundred magical soldiers at its command. That's what I heard. Spewed liquid fire from its crotch. Sorry. <laughs> the humor from these guys. Oh, Lord. So what the hell's this tiny thing? Legends were way more than an exaggeration. However, the Great Witch Utica's Witch Doctrine stated as much. Uh-huh. I guess this isn't a mistake, then. This concludes the legendary demon summoning ceremony. It's not over yet, Arlecchino. The final step is to chain its existence to this world. I understand and obey. I shall prepare some slop. Uh, I shall prepare your meal. Yes, indeed. I shall do all in my power to prepare a delicious meal for you. No need for that. You still got that gum you picked up the other day? Hmm? Yes, I have it right here. Talia takes the gum from our lechino and tosses it right into her mouth. Even something disgusting like gum found on the ground has its uses. Here, eat it. I am certain that Sir Hunter Knight is too dumb to understand the concept of fine dining. 
But still, perhaps this is taking it a bit far? Peace have already been chewed gum. Unless it is a stray dog, I don't... ABC gum is a type of gum that's been in the games that they make since, like, this guy or the first one. Awesome reference. Knight's intelligence has gained a level. It can now disagree with and question others. The Hundred Knight has become an official inhabitant of this world. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you can't hold a conversation worth a damn, but at least your spirit is rising. What, you matter something? Then show off your attitude. You can't talk. So you have to make your presence known by what you do. Now, if you're mad because I fed you junk, show it through your attitude. Thank you. The hell? Are you being a brat on purpose? Refusing to trust me? <laughs> That's kind of amusing. Maybe I'll let it slide this time. Now all that remains is the contract ceremony, correct? No, the contract's been made. Thank you. I took something important from it before it left that other world. Oh, I see. How very deft of you. Behold how impressed I am. Thank you. <laughs> Look at that face. You have no idea, do you? Are you curious about what I took, Hundred Knight? A little bit. Well, don't worry about it too much. It was nothing big. Well... Final touch! I'm gonna tell you something important. Listen up, Hundred Knight. Listening. This is the contract torch. The burning flame is fueled by magic. You've become securely planted in this world, but without my magic, you'll get stuck in some sort of purgatory. Without the flame, you won't be able to stay here, but you won't be able to go back home. Ever. Get it? As long as that flame is burning, you're free to move about as you wish. Just make sure you do everything I want you to do before it burns out. That way, the contract will be fulfilled and you can go home. Thank you. <laughs> but first, a test. I'll need some proof that you are, in fact, the legendary Hundred Knight. Come. Come with me. Follow. Night. Look upon my awe-inspiring swamp. Alright, I think this is a good spot to uh, finish the episode. It's gone way over what I'd like it to have been. But it was entertaining. At least for me it was. I hope it was for you. So, um, as usual, show your support by clicking that like and uh, subscribe button. Until next video, take care and bye-bye now. Static Buzz out.